Hi. Yesterday I went to my first expo, my first hair and trade show, hair and makeup and other things, trade show. And the theme of it was Beautiful Woman 2012. I just came to show you all what I got at the trade show since somebody from the Caribbean with Caribbean people in natural hair group suggested that I show them what I got at the trade show. So, um, Beju was one of the persons at the trade show, but one of the booths had a Beju booth at the trade show. And what I got from them, let me see, I got pack of braids, I don't know what I'm going to do with this because I already use this and I'm not sure if I would use this but yeah, I got this expressions color one I got also a pack of weave human hair weave human hair, yeah 100% human hair premium realistic fiber yeah I'm not going to put this in my hair, but I was thinking yesterday, what am I going to do with this? Because I don't put weave in my hair. But I decided that most likely I would end up using it to practice on the mannequin. Yeah, which is up. Yes, I would use it to practice on the mannequin. So I'll look at some YouTube videos and maybe try a style out with this weave that I got. Um, what else did I get? Soft and so silky was there. And, well, I bought this. I bought this and... I bought this moisturizing cucumber and melon body wash. And Breed and Weave Sheen Spray. Just for a chance in a lucky dip, which I got to, um, a hair cream in, but I gave that to somebody else because I didn't really want it. Yeah, so that's what I got from them. Um, I bought this magazine. I haven't opened it yet. So yeah, you can open it and just, I'll just flip through so you see what it looks like. This is the magazine. Harry Vell is the name of the magazine by Ephraim Hunt. Yes, and it's an all Caribbean magazine. A lot of pictures. And so, yeah. um, Dr. Miracle. I got some sample packs of Fridge Frizz Control Serum. And a nourishing conditioner. Yeah. I'll have to read up to see what I'm going to do with this. And when I went back down to the ballroom a second time to look for something else, the man just put the next bag in hand. So I have two of the Dr. Miracle bags. This is what I went to look for the second time when I went down. I don't know if I would use this headband, but. Yeah, I bought two of these and I gave one to my sister. I had a purple one also. Um, I got some cool control defining pudding. Yeah. Tango taming leave-in conditioner. Same thing here. Some posters. Happen to be cool from this. So when I put it in my face, I could probably put it in. Although I think these posters must have like straight in here and stuff. So there's one poster there. <laughs> nice poster though. There's another one here. It's 
nice to finally have posters. And finally, look at some. Well, I don't know if there's a real hair, but it could be. Some people with curly hair, you know. Poster. This would be nice when I have my own poster. And that was from. I can't remember the name. Perfective. Yeah. These posters, so I got this one. Perfective. Posters. I can't remember where I got them from, so let's see what, what it has on the inside. Dr. Miracle. Yeah. Oops. No lie, relaxer. Don't be up with that stuff. Yes. Another Dr. Miracle one. So while the hair show was going on, it had some people talking and like demonstrating styles on the stage and I heard a woman saying something about formaldehyde. She said that the product that she was advertising it had formaldehyde in it and it gave, gave her a really nice curl, like the best curl ever. But I went to a hair lecture in Newey the other day. Here's the, um, the poster thing for it. The name for those hairless, yeah, with Dr. Linda Horst, and she was talking about how bad formaldehyde is, and the different, I don't know, gases it give off, the, I don't know, something it give off into the air, and like when you breathe it in, it could cause asthma, leukemia, and all different kinds of cancer. So. When I heard her say, the other woman saying how it had formaldehyde in it, you know, that was her own name. So, y'all can look up on that and decide what y'all think about it. But I don't, from what Dr. Force said, it was nice and really good. So, um, I think what was this for me? What I got? More or less, yeah. So just um, just a list of the different exhibitors who were there. Miracle Touch. I don't know if that is Dr. Miracle. Yeah. Miracle Touch, Tribel Cosmetic, TNT Salon Supplies, Santa's the Wig King. And I'm always hearing about the Santa's, but first time I'm seeing like Santa. <laughs> Miguel Distributors, Chelsea, Sue the Jewelry. Langston Roach Industries, Kinetics Beauty Clinic, and more. It's a whole long list. Yeah. So I went to my first expo, hair expo, hair trade show. Um, I'll attach some pictures at the end from the hair show, and maybe some from the from the makeup show as well. Yeah. But the experience was really good. I met up people who said they knew my face, but they didn't know from where or what my name was and some had one woman who knew my name and yeah it was it was really nice the experience was nice meeting people and things like that yeah so i look forward to my next treat to go into another hair show and stay tuned for any the videos I have on that. Bye.